Kevin stepped out for a bit, so I think I'm gonna do a little gorilla harvesting here. And I've had my eyes on his artichokes for quite some time now. So we're gonna come in here, do a little bit of harvest, but there's an onion up front that I've had my eyes on for a long time. So let's go pick it and see if he even notices that it's gone. I've been eyeing this onion here for such a long time. It's bigger than my hand. I mean, just take a look at these pruners. So what I think Jock, I'm gonna do- Don't is... think you can take my onions! <laughs> Jock, I really did think I was gonna get away with this one, but. Mm -mm. Uh. No, it's too big, it's too precious. I see you've already made yourself at home <laughs> and gotten some artichokes. <laughs> Why don't we cook honest. Jock a little meal together? <laughs> but there is an onion to harvest Jock, and I'll be honest, and you know, we always trash talk each other, but this year, the onions are in my corner. They're 100% your corner. They're not look even at this on one the field. <laughs> Come take a look here, look at this. I'm gonna say probably it's still a little early, in yeah. my opinion, but it's a garden to grill. You could let it sit, but it's perfectly edible, right? It's perfectly edible, so. I mean, that's a handsome little red that's onion. That's a nice little onion right there, that's you know? That's perfect. The reason I said it's harvestable is because the neck was broken. Now, would I want it to see it a little yellow, maybe a little bit yeah. more dry? I definitely would, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So let's harvest this and let's see what else we can get. All right, let's do it. All right, it's time to harvest. We've ha actually have been harvesting this, but there's too much. Yeah. There's simply too much. And this is the loquat tree, of course. They're coming off. Load me up. Give it a, let's give it a taste test real quick just to see where it's at. Because this has been a heavy fruiting season, but also it's been weirdly late to ripen. Uh, so yeah. it's kind of annoying. So I'm a peeler. I'm going to actually use your technique this time. It's just a little more pleasant. It's a little more satisfying, but you can definitely eat the skin. Is the flavor there? It's finally there. It still oh. has a little bit of tartness. Mm-hmm but just the right amount, nice sweetness. Mm. This is gonna go into our grill sesh. So oh, let's, okay. grab, let's grab a few handfuls I'm ready here. ready for that. What else can we get? How about this? Steal a potato from the patch? I'm, I'm ready for that. Let's go. This is the unintelligent, unsophisticated way of storing potatoes, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, cause the reason why is because you really wanna keep them in a darker area. And you can see some of these are a little greener than I might want. The, the Charlottes, to me, do look slightly green. Oh, yeah. But I'm willing to chance it if you are. I'm, I'm a little risky. I'm ready to try. Here we go, my friends. Why not a little garden to grill on a almost summer <laughs> afternoon? We've got the potatoes, we've got the onion. So it's time to prep, but Jacques, I don't eat artichokes the same way you do. I eat them more traditional style. Yeah. You eat them a little younger and I love the prep method that you use, so why don't we talk about that? Yeah, this is a really a fun way to eat artichokes, especially when you get those little tiny side shoots. You could do it for all sizes, but it really shines on these little guys, and it, it could go this big and be totally fine. Yeah. So what we're going to do is basically prep it so that we can eat the petals and the heart whole. So right. what I'm gonna do with this red onion, by the way, is I'm just going to remove one layer, give it a quick yep. rinse, and then I'm going to uh, go rings, and then ideally I'm gonna caramelize it for the Ooh, burgers. Okay. Yeah. So the way that I do these is usually, um, actually I'll start by removing a lot of these outer leaves. The outer ones are usually very tough. Even when you do that old method, you don't get much off those first ones. So I'm gonna just remove a couple of these darker ones and make like a little lollipop on all of them. Mm -hmm. Now that I look at it, pile. this is a bit more green than I would have. It's It's got some green on there. You know what, I'll, I'll give you a little, little treat and I'll swap it out with a Sarpo Mira Ooh. for you. If uh, you don't see another video after this one, it's because we both died of potato poisoning. <laughs> White on the inside. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> What's your method here? You've created the lollipop and you've yes. removed all the tough ones. So in exactly. theory, anything, I, I can eat this fully and I'm like happy. Pretty much, except yeah. for one last step. Okay. <laughs> so the last thing you want to do is that usually, depending on the variety, there are spines on the tips of the bracts. So what I like to do is to just avoid that entirely is I'll cut off the top like third or quarter of the artichoke. Now we are still removing some, but trust me, this is gonna be worth it. So mm -hmm. now what you get is this. You get this nice little cross section, there's no spines in there, and this is now fully edible. But if you were to try to cook it like this, it would work, but it wouldn't be as delicious. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a half, like so. And then I'm gonna place it in oil to kind of slow down the oxidation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it'll go brown on you, yeah? Yeah, and that's fine. And honestly, I, I let mine go brown last time and they were still totally, totally fine. fine. But it smells like butter in the area, doesn't it? Is okay. it these buns? Are those buttered buns? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, that actually does smell buttered. So any of these larger artichokes, I am gonna remove that choke just in case, because uh, I don't want to choke on it. Mm-hmm. 
But the little ones, um, it's honestly not even really there, so it's not a big deal. So you're taking that undeveloped that flower out. Exactly, so yep. just like so. And then I'm gonna go just salad slicer. Sandwich nice slicer little, style tomato here. All right. A little burger, a little This one's a little early. This one did not come out of the garden, forgive me, before I have sinned. <laughs> because I don't have tomatoes this big quite yet. So we grab this one from the market. It's okay, it's gonna warm us up for our tasty tomatoes. We're gonna eat that and be like, This is garbage, missing. yeah, exactly. But you know what? My controversial opinion as somebody who loves tomatoes, yeah. it's my favorite thing. I don't care if it's a bad tomato on a sandwich, I always want a tomato. Oh I yeah. Know. I don't oh, know yeah. why. I'll take just, a plastic tomato I know. on there just so I get the psychology of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not, it doesn't feel the same, mm -hmm. but I still need it. We forgot to add that we grew these. <laughs> a little sharp cheddar and honestly, like, and I'll, I'll say this right now, Meat District, Steakhouse, this is not how I'm trying to get my meat in general, guys. And you'll be seeing an episode, not even on Epic Gardening, but you'll see it on a different channel where I'm going hunting for my own meat so that I don't have to get Meat District Steakhouse Angus Beef Tri-Tip Sirloin with Garlic and Peppercorn Rub. There's a lot of words in there. From, you know, wherever. So, why don't I fire up the Blackstone, Jacques? All right. And start working. Ooh, there it goes. Let's go. <laughs> Last time we did this, it was breakfast. That's true. Today, it's a little uh, lunch dinner. It's a little dinner. dinner. This is what I always love about when oh. I want, used to watch the videos on how to cook on the griddle top. <laughs> Boo! No smoke. I fired them all up, Shock. Okay. So I'm thinking. Yeah, what's my quadrant? Right. So how long does that need, do you think? Um, I don't know. <laughs> 15. 15? I need that lid thing too. Yeah, hunt for that. That's down okay, there. Okay, perfect. Let me grab the, I'm going to do the onions. But we can, if they finish, I'm, I'm going to just start them first. Yeah. And if they finish, they're finished. We could snack cool. on them. That's an aperitif. Yeah, it's a little bonus. So I'll take this quadrant then. Cool. I'm going to do the grilled onions here. Oh yeah, you got a squirt bottle. What am I doing with this? Yeah, hit it with that squirt bottle. So here we go. Face down. Ooh, hit, listen to that sizzle. Hello, mother. <laughs> so potatoes are gonna take a while. Oh, okay. Because I'm cooking them from raw. Right. You know? Not advisable. <laughs> the better way to do this would be to boil them for about five to eight minutes. That basically cooks them, soft cooks them. Oh, okay. Par cooks them, whatever. And uh, then you get those rough edges, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, the crispy And then bits. when you throw it on, on the Blackstone, it would actually crisp them up and make like these little sort of patty I like fryer that. things. I like that. Now it is sizzling a little bit. I'm gonna just go straight on with the lid at the beginning. Cause at the beginning we were trying to soften. We are also trying to get a sear. But I'm gonna go sneak over to the orchard and grab a lemon. You ever been to Benihana? Uh, yes. Remember when they would do the the, the uh, oh, yeah, volcano. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little oh. bit of, uh, little. <laughs> Can you throw an egg up, crack it? Should I try it? <laughs> I don't think so. You I don't know if we're ready. Hold on. We should. Oh. Because I can make a star egg. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> These lemons are good. It's gonna be. Oh yeah. A dirty, egg. dirty little dozen. You think I can do this? I think. I, I'm gonna say yes, because I've seen you catch things that I didn't expect. Well, here's the problem is, I, I, I know for a fact I can bisect the egg. Oh, okay? right. It's the problem is, after. can I get it in this star? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. So I, I need to toss, right? And then somehow it's not gonna entirely shatter, it's just gonna release the egg. That's the idea, ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey, you did it. Look at that. It looks great. <laughs> Perfect. Right, I'll get this piece Ooh, of the egg out. Oh, look at that. Sizzle? Look at that, bro. I love this little handle, like, hey. Yeah, that's wanna... actually really cute. I'm gonna do some fusion here. It's gonna be one of the worst looking egg stars ever. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is here happening. I like what I'm seeing. Here... <laughs> that egg. Don't worry about that. Ooh, those are looking real good, dude. Let's take a look. So do you go caramelizing till they're brown? Yeah, I want yeah. a little caramelization. And once we get that, so we want a little more than that. Yeah. Then I'm going to flip them and drizzle lemon on them. Okay. And season. Okay. Yeah, got it. I'm going to, these are still going well. I just want to get a little crisp on this. You yeah. Know? A little crisp. And then we'll see what my uh, 
<laughs> Mon 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 monstrosities. Can you flip with that thing? Uh-oh. Oh. Problem is, how do you move the hand? Can you do that? Ready? I think I've sealed it though. Yeah, so. I think you did. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. let's get this egg out. Let's eat. <laughs> Ooh, that steam. Lord. Look at, you can see the steam on the. Yeah, they're dancing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, there we go. Let me do a steam. Check that out. Oh, yeah. That's what That's you brown. Want. Okay, okay. These are steaming. Okay. Be right back. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of lemon here just to give it a little bit of moisture. That's good. So this is going to be our appetizer. Yes. Because we've got burgers. Oh man, sparkling water Ooh. is just so good. Is that flaky sea salt? There's simply nothing better than sparkling water in this world. <laughs> you are a big sparkling water guy. I can't stop. I've never, like, to me it just slows me down too much. I've drank more CO2 than most people have breathed oxygen. <laughs> Here's the thing about me. When I drink it, I've developed the ability to turn it, the atmospheric carbon, into bone density. <laughs> and that's why when I got a recent health test, it showed that my bones are as dense as someone half my age. Okay. And that's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> I, mean, I, I got a little intense there, but that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. All right. I think our buns are looking good. I want a little more steam for these big ones. Yep. It's wild how long it takes onions to caramelize. I know, it's so at, funny. At least on the griddle, you know? It always cracks me up when you read a recipe that says like, caramelize the onions five minutes. That guy never cooked an onion. Unless, no unless way we just don't minutes. know. I mean. Nah, they're scamming us, man. You think they're scamming uh, us? I think it's a deep conspiracy. Yeah? How are the aperitifs going? I think we're almost there. Yeah? Yeah, it's starting to feel kind of tendy. So, I think we should grab some meat district. Okay. Out. You're a cheese guy, right? Yeah, always. This guy lacto ferments. Let's just say. This guy's a lacto. <laughs> yeah, cheese is something that I've always enjoyed very thoroughly, and especially uh, <laughs> that very way. thoroughly. That's such a sciencey way of saying I, I love cheese. <laughs> I mess with cheese. What are you thinking? Onions are looking pretty decent to me. I think they're yeah. They're I wouldn't looking, call them full caramelized, but they're looking like they're, they're good though. But here's the beauty: is if you want to keep them on, Blackstone style, you can just bring them. Uh, off so center. This is the cold spot. It's just not. It's just not as hot, right? Gotcha. Or if I really wanted to, like, once I'm done, right, I might throw this on low and just throw them I over see. here in the center and just chill. You know? What do you got? This guy here. Probably needs a little more something, a little seasoning maybe. Wow. Good. Yeah, I like it. What do you think on the lemon? Good. What I think is it needs a little more salt, mm -hmm. if I had to guess, and a little more of like a. Some sort of herbal treatment. Some sort right. of like a rosemary or a paprika right or something back. like that. <laughs> <laughs> My rule of griddle top cooking is just put more oil on. Because it's probably gonna go down that. That's anyways. true. Like That's I true. can't guarantee it's in the food, so it's healthy. Oh my god. Is that a maestro? <laughs> is that a cutting maestro down there? I don't know if the mic picked it up, but I went pretty hard there. <laughs> okay, so you're hit okay. So we don't need to steam cook it anymore, right? No, Can't I think they're probably cook? good. Careful with that, it's hot. All right, how do we feel on getting some meat on the grill? Let's get it on. Let's get it on. What's nice is these are pre-seasoned, despite their dubious origins. Ooh, maybe a little burning over here? A little accident? <laughs> See, I mean, that's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look like it's cooking. Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to fall apart, so they're definitely cooked. They're cooked for sure. The steam top method for sure is like underrated. Yeah. Are you a toppings? Are you like a condiments guy? If I go in condiments, I almost always want mayo. Yeah. Uh, on a hot, on a burger. Yep. Really? Mayo, ketchup, mustard. Okay. Mix them together, holy trinity. I like it's a classic. Like secret sauce. I mean, I respect it for sure. I would, so if I'm doing a hot dog, I'm doing tomato ketchup relish. Oh. And, and maybe some onions. Okay. Uh, raw. Yeah. And if I'm doing a, a burger, I would, which we don't have, but I would do tomato ketchup sliced pickles. Mm. Sliced pickles. Yeah. Like more like a McDonald's burger. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm we feeling. Lid those? I mean, we could. Especially I just, to help melt the cheese at some point, right? It's hard because I'm not 
fully The cross continent. section is definitely pink. Yeah, but medium rare. It's <laughs> my logic. Hey. It's my logic. Well, you know what we could do is, how about this? Yeah. Let's go cheese on. And then lid on. Cheese on, lid on, and that'll do both jobs yeah. at once. Perfect. Let's see what happened over here. You wanna grab a couple plates? Sure. After this? I'm gonna go for this big boy. All right. The burn definitely takes a little away. But I'm here for it. Wow. It's so like fleshy and meaty. Yeah. I feel like you get more this way. Mm hmm And you're so right. Like if you hadn't chopped off the tips, it would have been kind of miserable, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I actually got a tip left on that one. And uh, But you get this part? Yeah, you get that whole cherry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, let's dress these boys up, huh? I might put an artichoke on another mine. plate. We're gonna share our plates here. So here's one bottom, here's another bottom. I'm gonna dress with some onions for mine. A little bit of that. I'll go in. Oops. I'm going heavy on the onions. I'm going. You're putting a choke on? Putting a choke right on. Just like that. You wanna slice of Tom? I'm calling in my Italian burger. <laughs> yes, Tommy. Oh, you're putting a choke? Just, yeah, okay. slap it you right on I'm actually kind of interested. All right, get in there. Throw that, I'll do a little dip that. It's gonna be a sloppy burger, but I this. think it's gonna hit. Right, here's your top. All right, I have one rule though. What? I can't eat an unseasoned tomato. Oh, really? Hit it with that salt? Hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm doing some ketchup, because that's all I got. I'm going no ketchup. Really? I'm keeping it original. There we go. All right, grill time. Happy Memorial Day week. Check out our sale that's going on on the store. It's probably the best sale you'll see all year, maybe ever. And bon appetit. Cheers. I'm gonna go in. Honestly, this looks great. It, it does look good. It <laughs> it's does like an expensive good. fancy burger. I know. Mm. That artichoke? That's new. This might be a new thing. I've never seen this. <laughs> I was about this to is, say. This is new. <laughs> That's new. Steal this. If you're a sous chef or a chef de cuisine, <laughs> steal it. Put it on the menu. And when your exec comes in and is like, what's this? You just be like, I made it up. I made it up. Steal it from us completely. I'm impressed. Yeah. Artichoke burger, here to stay. I'm going to take another little potato. Mm -hmm. Little solanine for the road. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, it's cooked. It yeah, it's, it's definitely cooked. We've got a burger to finish. We've got some potatoes to cook. The boys <laughs> behind the camera have to eat as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. More grill to garden. No, more <laughs> garden to grill coming soon this summer. Stay tuned, subscribe, good luck in the garden, and keep on growing. While the cat's away, the mice will play. <laughs> so dumb. Did you call me the cat? <laughs> what the?